guys, it's Andrew from the blog Pine and Prospect Home and today I want to share the easy way and also the no-so way to hem IKEA curtains. So I'm not sure if all IKEA curtains are like this, but the ones that I purchased were very, very long, over 100 inches, I believe, and I needed to hem them and make them obviously much shorter. I didn't want to go for that puddled look at the bottom, I just wanted something that was clean and that just barely touched the floor. So I'm going to share with you what I did and it was so simple. Anyone can do this, you don't need a sewing machine, you don't need to know how to sew and I hope this is a help to you guys today if you want to purchase curtains from IKEA. Now I will say I am very impressed with these curtains, I know that I shared these recently. The curtains you see here are actually Ikea Rivta, I believe, and they are this beautiful uh, sort of off-white color. I love the fact that these Ikea curtains, uh, these Rivta curtains, are very thick, the fabric is durable, and they're also very wide, so they don't look flimsy on your wall. And for the price you pay for two curtains, I believe I paid $24.99 for the pair, which is really affordable if you've been shopping for curtains lately. So I was just very impressed with the quality of these curtains. So like I said, they were very long when I purchased them and I needed to be able to hem them. And I do have a sewing machine actually. I, I know how to sew, but you know, for whatever reason, I didn't feel like pulling out my machine with this project. I wanted something that was quick and fast. So I'm just gonna share step-by-step step with you what I did and hopefully it'll be a help to you guys. All right, I don't have a sewing room or a craft space at the moment, so I just did this project right here in my living room, on my living room floor. So the very first step is to lay your curtains out and measure. So I uh, simply laid my curtain on the ground and then folded it in half lengthwise. I had my husband, he was home that day, so we pulled it nice and taut, made sure there weren't any bumps or wrinkles, and once it was folded in half, that just means you have less length to cut. Um, once I did that, you would then need to measure. Now thankfully I had an old set of curtains that I knew was the perfect length, so if you have an old set handy, that would make it even easier for you. I just laid that set of curtains that I knew was perfect down on these IKEA curtains and I knew exactly where to cut. If you don't have an old set handy, you're gonna have to measure, and what I would suggest doing is measure from your rod, or if you have clips like I do, I have those little curtain rod clips, measure from that point all the way to your floor to see how long your curtains need to be. Once you get that measurement down, you wanna add about four more inches to that measurement. So in my case, I wanted 84 inch curtains, that's what works well for my home, and I just simply added four inches to that, so my curtains I cut at about 88 inches long. Um, of course it could be different depending on how long you want your curtain. Every home is going to be different, but this is just what I went by. Next you're going to want to cut your curtains and I suggest using high quality fabric scissors. They make your life so much easier. And at that point, once you've cut off your excess material, you can open your curtains back up and then you're ready to fold and pin. So now here we're on step three, and by the way, we only have one step to go. That's how simple this project is. Folding and pinning your curtains. So what I like to do is use some straight pins uh, for sewing, and I simply took about an inch of the bottom portion of the curtain and folded it upwards. Once I had that fold in place, if you really wanted to keep that in place, you could iron that fold just to make it nice and crisp and keep it in place better. You don't have to do that. That's the way my mom taught me. I was just being lazy today and I chose not to do that. But once you have that bottom inch folded up and you have that fold in place, you then take your I used a brand called Stitch Witchery. It's basically a bonding tape that activates um, under heat. So when you iron it, it activates the tape, which uh, allows you to skip the sewing step. This is where the no sew comes in. So once you have that bottom fold folded up, 
you lay your stitch witchery or whatever bonding tape you choose to use, I'll link the one that I use in the description below, you lay that on your fold and you simply pin it onto your fold. And I'm sharing pictures as I describe this process. Honestly, I wish I had recorded more of the process for you guys, but hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm talking about in these pictures that I share. Um, but you can see how I just pinned that tape, that stitch witchery, right onto that fold. And once it's all pinned in place, you're ready for your final step. So here we are, step four. All you need to do is simply fold up one more time and iron. That is it. Now, this can be a little bit tricky. In order to keep uh, that fold in place, I would sometimes iron between pins real quick and that would just keep it in place and then I could remove pins and iron the length of the curtain edge or you can just work your way from one end to the other simply removing pins as you go. It doesn't matter how you do it, just be careful that you don't get too close to your fingers. I got a little bit too close a few times and I didn't burn myself but it definitely got hot. So you just wanna be careful not to get that iron too close to your fingers as you're removing pins and ironing your hem. But once it's all ironed, you are done. My curtains turned out beautiful. One thing that I will say is I actually ironed right here on the ground here in my living room. I simply grabbed a bath towel, a clean towel from upstairs and laid the edge of my curtain onto my towel and just ironed since my, since everything was already sitting out here anyways, I just wanted to keep it all in one place and that worked out really well for me. So you don't even need to pull an ironing board out for this project. A towel will do just fine. Just make sure it's nice and thick so you don't go through the curtains and iron your rug. That would be very bad. But that's what I did and they turned out perfect. They are just barely touching the floor. I love the way that these turned out and they just, they look so beautiful in my living room. Now I actually did this set of curtains and I did another set in my dining room. I'm still kind of swapping them back and forth and trying to decide what color I like better in here. Um, but for right now, I'm loving the way this cream looks for spring and summer. It's nice and bright and airy. And I hope this tutorial was a help to you guys. If you have any questions or if there's not something that I explained well enough, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer. I'm also going to have a blog post linked in the description with all of these steps, lots of photos for you guys. So you can go back and refer to that blog post. Feel free to pin the post to your Pinterest board. That way you have it saved for later. And next time you're at Ikea and you wanna purchase some curtains, you don't have to let that extra length stop you. You can just use my blog post and hem them without ever having to pull out a sewing machine. So thank you guys so much for watching today. I'm loving some of the changes that I've made in my living room and I can't wait to share it all decorated for spring with you guys here in Michigan. Today we woke up to more snow, so that was a bit of a bummer but I know spring is on its way and I see that we're supposed to get some warmer temperatures next week. So I'm hopeful that it will melt very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, please be sure and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time guys. Bye-bye.